As Halfrey Golf Course prepares for this weekend's uh, city tournament, course officials are preparing for repairs after another case of vandalism earlier this week. How much will this one cost? And what's being done to stop the vandals? Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey stopped by the course to find out. It's business as usual at Helfert Golf Course following the latest round of vandalism. Evansville Deputy Mayor Steve Schaefer calls the incident frustrating. You know, parks, we have limited resources and uh, there are lots of issues that we need to address in our parks and our maintenance crews are busy doing that. So anytime that you have vandalism that's on top of uh, those tasks, it, it creates even more work and puts us further behind. Damages included overturned benches and trash cans, but the potentially larger financial impact comes from an overturned irrigation satellite. Uh, the difference this time was that the irrigation system is something that is uh, very expensive to replace here at Helfrick, uh, any golf course. And so any damage to that system uh, will cost thousands of dollars. Last summer, a malfunctioning irrigation pump damaged the greens and led to thousands of dollars in repairs. With a working system and more recent rains, Schaefer does not expect future issues. But fortunately, the greens are in such good condition right now that they don't have to turn that specific satellite on. Schaefer says this is the third instance of vandalism so far this summer at Helfrick Golf Course. For that reason, Evansville Police have stationed a Guardian Surveillance Unit to keep an eye on the course. Uh, EPD is doing more patrols uh, around um, this golf course, and we also rely on neighbors. When they see sus suspicious activity, they call that in, and we encourage them to do so. EPD says they did receive a police report about the latest round of vandalism. According to that report, the physical damage is estimated at $750, but the cost to repair the irrigation system will be determined after this weekend. In Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.